All right, this, the the eyeball is on. So that, I really like this problem. Now, I hurried two prob the two problems I'm going to do now. I hurried them last late yesterday afternoon, trying to get them done, and then also trying to get home for my wife's birthday dinner and stuff like. That. So they were a disaster. I mean, they you know. I understand this material pretty well, and I was confused. After I went back and looked at them for about two or three, I went, oh, my God, get rid of that. So anyway, here we are. Let's, let's take a look at this. Now, um, what we have is we've got a, a glass bottle sealed with – basically, it's a can. Think of it because the area at the top is the same as the area at the bottom um, because if the area at the top was smaller than the area at the bottom, that would even be more pressure uh, on, on the top. So. Um, as we would find, as as we'll find out later. But um, so basically, you've you've got a can here, and I really like this problem. So it's uh, let me write down the the data, the carbon inside, the pressure inside is equal to um, so this is problem fifteen is equal to one point eight. Now that's that's pretty big times ten to the fifth pascals, and the pressure on the outside. I'll just tell you right now when when we're going to this when you when you see my um, ladybug rendering of this the pressure on the outside is going to be 1.013 times 10 to the fifth pascals. Um, so this is like 1.7 times bigger pressure on the inside than it is on the outside, and the area of the bottle cap is 3.5 times 10 to the negative four meters squared. All right, so let's just take a look at what the problem would look like. Hopefully this will pop up pretty quickly. I'm not wasting your time. Come on. Talk to me. There we go. All right, so here's what we've got on problem 15. So let's draw the picture real quick, and I always draw a terrible cam. So there we go. That's a little better. we got to go on like this and like this. and So... Here's the, and here's our bottle cap right here. Like that. Okay? So, and then it's got this lid. So, we've got the pressure on the outside. P outside. And we've got this pressure on the inside. They're not equal to each other. P in is greater than P out. So unless this thing is screwed down, it's going to pop off there. Okay? Because the areas are the same. So P in over the area, 1, is greater than P out over the area, 1. Now, oh, oh, ah. So force inside over area one is greater than force outside over area one because the areas are the same. The areas are the same. All right. That's what I was trying to get to. All right. And then, so therefore, since this force on the inside is greater, it's going to pop it out. So I need this, I need to screw this thing down. And so we create a force that's going downward due to the, due to the, um, um, grooves in the, in the, in the cap. All right, so I need an extra force of force three going this way. All right, and since it's taking up the entire area of the cap, we'll just say that it's also another pressure. All right, and then we'll figure it out. So we've got P inside. is equal to P outside plus the pressure caused by the cap. All right. So let's take P inside minus P outside is equal to the pressure of the cap. Subtract those two. And we know that the pressure of the cap is equal to the force of the cap over the area. And then you can just solve it from there. 
right? So that so that's a fun. I mean, that that kind of shows you how this stuff works, right? Uh, so that one's done. <laughs>